hi guys welcome back to the channel um i don't know if it's okay to say it's been a minute but it's been a minute the rona was here okay and i just decided that i'm gonna film a video because life has been happening and so i'm just gonna film okay so today i actually wanted to feature three new products that i've been seeing in the supermarket Mar Marty. are you about to say your first word pa. papa papa say it. you can say it. Pa. Supermarkets. I think one is a return product and the other ones are completely brand new um, and Yeah, so I just want to get into it so that this video isn't too long and just want to give my opinion So the first two snacks I want to do they're from holiday and the first one is grains um, Nacho and then the next one is also grains, but guys your girl got hungry okay <laughs> and so i ate one of them before and i am ashamed i'm gonna show you yeah this is the herb flavored one um but i can still tell you how it tastes okay so this reminds me of cornados anybody know cornados so like this is the cornados october cornados so if cornados went to private school you know live in upper st andrew this is what it would have tasted like so this takes it tastes like cornados the only issue with this is that after a while i kind of got overwhelmed by it and so i didn't actually eat the entire pack one time i had put it in the fridge and i ate it after um the other one no and guys i'm just gonna be doing tasting when i say tasting like i mean tasting okay all right so this one is nachos It's like you know that um you know that snack we used to have they have the whole if I mix up mix up things in there and then it used to have a pretzels it used to have a Jamaican snack it was in a red bag and it had a lot of things in there yeah that's what this tastes like it's not bad I'll scale of one to five. I'll give it a four. Calories one sixty. Um, I mean it's a snack, so you can't really read all the thing in the things in the ingredients. It's a long list, so maybe not so healthy. Um, but yeah, I'll give it a four. I'll give it a four. It's not bad. It's really not bad. All right. And then the next company I saw was this company called Toppers. Um, it's from Trinidad, but it's on the Jamaican shelf. So Toppers, and they have a lot of flavors. This is the fire sticks. This is the cheese sticks. I also have the cheese balls hot and spicy. And I also have the cheese balls regular. The packaging is nice. I liked it. It's only 90 calories. Well, lies. Oh, sorry. They vary. So the cheese balls are 90 calories and then the other two are 140. So let me go ahead and taste. Let me start with the toppers. All right. So it doesn't have the rip option. So let me... new here nothing to write home about just tastes like cheese balls okay so that's i don't even know if i should read that all right sorry right. um the okay this is the hot and spicy cheese balls let's see i mean the, the calories the calories are good on this because it's 90 calories not so bad Okay. It tastes like a little zing. 
and then back on my sword. Well, hey, that's not bad. It only has 10 grams of carbs, 5 grams of fat in total. This isn't bad in terms of macros. Um, ingredients, so Mars to Jesus. Yeah. Does anybody know what actually makes cheese balls? Like, I don't know. But I get it to be like a puffy puffy. What is a puffy puffy thing? Okay, I don't know. All right. Um, I'd actually give this a five. I actually like this. It tastes like regular cheese balls, you know, but it, um, the little spice is nice. All right. After that, they have cheese sticks. Let me see how this compares to, um, your regular cheese sticks and, uh, cheesies. The packaging on these are nice. I love a clean, you know, clean look. Mm. It's definitely <laughs> baked, never fried. Who who else has that hashtag or that um slogan? It's definitely not as potent. It's almost kind of fresh. Hmm. I will give this a three. It's actually kind of fresh. It almost have an aftertaste of fresh. Like if you, if you did wash off cheese sticks, it's kind of what it would taste like. It's, not, it's definitely not as strong. All right, let me let you taste another one. All right, let's go. This is the fire. Fire sticks. Caution. Very hot. That's what it says. Let's see. This is the one that has the most calories in it. Okay, get a big one. I don't know. It's definitely spicy. It's a good spicy. It's not a overwhelming nose running, <laughs> eyes full of water kind of spicy. It's a good spicy. It has a unique taste. I actually don't know what to compare it to. Hmm. It would definitely be my favorite. Yeah, this is definitely my favorite. So I like that. And it's quite a contrast to this one. This is a this is a unique taste as well. I think they said that this one was on the shelf before, but they're bringing it back. It's not bad. Well, this might be my favorite though. I actually like spicy food, so this one isn't bad. Okay. All right. Now, these, a lot of these products, they're on the Jamaican shelves. They are done in Jamaica, but they're not true original Jamaican products. And when I saw these in the supermarket, well, I saw it in a corner shop, right? These new drinks, they're called, um, well, the company is called Clarendon Blends, and it says Authentic Jamaican. And I was so excited when I saw it particularly because of this flavor, which is the sorrel mango. This one I've actually tasted before, and then I saw that they have more flavors, and I was just so excited to have a Jamaican product, and it actually has the flag on it, product of Jamaica, and so, as I said, extremely excited. I am here for Jamaican products. We have so many fruits and all of those things. We have no reason to import a lot of the stuff that we do. And Clarendon blends. I'm as, I'm assuming that they're in Clarendon, Maple and Clarendon. So yeah, it says wrap me and drink me. So I guess you're supposed to shake it. So this is the sorrel mango. As I said, I've tasted it before, but I'm just going to taste it. This one again, just to, well, I loved it the first time. Yeah, 
and i love it again it's a really nice flavor um i don't drink a lot of drinks i'm very being very honest um this one water sorrel extract mango puree um sugar potassium sorbet ginger extract it's it's really nice i really like it i love that we have a product with sorrel that is probably all year round and you know we use it to make this combination of the soil and the mango it's really good um it has 28 grams of sugar as expected sugar from foods plus added sugars um yeah so it's two servings in the bottle it's 120 calories so yeah but it's really nice i wouldn't it's not something that i would drink like every single day because water is key but it's really good all right so these i haven't tasted this would be the pure sorrel hmm. all right so it's it's not It has a taste of sorrel, but it's definitely not, mm, and it has ginger. I love ginger and sorrel. It's definitely not your, woohoo, woo. Okay, this 48 grams of sugar though. That's a lot of sugar, Ooh, that is a lot of sugar. And it's two servings in the bottle, which means that it's actually almost 100 grams of sugar in it. Jeez, wow now sugars are not bad for you but if you're gonna put 50 grams of sugar in one drink that's a lot that's a lot that's a lot because throughout the day you're gonna be having other sugars um still love the company <laughs> but this is a lot of sugar wow it, it doesn't taste like like your home you know boiled and you know steep type of sorrel but it does taste it tastes like sorrel and I like the ginger. And then the last one though is mango pineapple. Mango pineapple. Okay, I was just looking at the sugar content. So this one has the second highest. I think it's the sorrel mango that has the least. Or it's the same. No, this one. This one has the least amount of added sugars. This one tastes the closest to like a true juice. Yeah, it tastes like it kind of tastes like a true juice. Yeah, yeah, it kind of tastes like true juice. Nothing unique here, but it's good. As in, if you're a drink person, it's it's good. My favorite is still this one, which is the mango, the sorrel mango. It's really really good. All right, so look out for these products, guys. If you see them on your shelves. Tell me if you like them um, and support our local companies, okay? So if you're going to drink juice, try and buy it from a local company as much as possible. Um, I also wanted to do an honorable mention in this video, which is some pastries that I bought from a company in Mandible. And uh, for some reason, oh my God, their name is slipping me right now. Jeez Louise. Gina's. I think it's called Gina's Home Baked Goods or Gina's, yeah, Gina's something. I'm going to put it here. I can't remember it. But I'm going to also insert some, um, I'll put their Instagram handle and also some little Instagram snippets that I did. I got some some treats from them and it was really good. Cheesecake, macaron, uh, pineapple tart, and uh, this other brownie like um snickerdoodle kind of thing and i really really enjoyed it so they're in mandible and so you can follow them on instagram if you're looking for something sweet something nice they do like pop-ups so you can look out for a pop-up but it was really really good really good right and it wasn't expensive at all some of the things were like 200 dollars, 250 i think the cheesecake was the most expensive which is expected which was 600 dollars, but it was very good and it was a good size it wasn't any little you know cupcake size cheesecake it was really good
guys to all the new subscri subscribers thank you for being here thank you for sticking with us even though we have been delinquent um hoping to get things moving you know in a more consistent manner but thank you all love light blessings and i'll see you in the next video bye